Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. Sorry, I had to adjust my computer. Um, if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing, extended, beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support. You know, um, it's a blessing to know that my videos are like validation for the things that you're going through or things that you needed answers for that, you know, universe has set, um, sent you my way, which is truly a blessing to me. Oh, gosh, I must be on something. My nose, <laughs> my nose, I must be on a good subject because I know my nose just started itching as soon as I said that. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. If you have been watching my videos for a while, I have not already, please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video and also if you feel like you're comfortable enough please drop me a line or two I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about you know the content of my video or feedback from the content of my video or you're just telling me about your empathic gift who's been impacted towards your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the the videos gave you good vibes or even good information that you would love to share with a loved one or friend or somebody who really truly needs to hear it right now please go ahead and do so and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit so thank you once again for stopping by my channel and giving me love and support and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Today, I will be listening to, uh, what is this, meditation? i got to turn it up a little bit so y'all can be able to get the same vibes I'm getting. Um, it's called 963 Hertz, Frequency of Gods. Ask Universe what you want. Manifest anything. Laws of Attraction. And I will post that link in the description box below. Y'all, if you've been with me for a while, you know I've been... Um, broadcasting my daughter's website she's you know needing donations for her book uh, to go ahead and get it published um, if you can stop by her channel you know even if it's for a dollar or two it's all greatly appreciated and I will be posting her link in the description box below and you know let her know that I sent you towards her way and greatly be appreciated um, today my video is about twin flame 101 twin flames going into spiritual union y'all I've never heard about this until yesterday so that's the reason why I couldn't put it in my other video because I had to leave it for this one I went through spiritual union yesterday with my dad and it's like my energy is so peaceful I've been so grateful I've been praying like almost every five minutes because it's just <sighs> the universe put me through hell for the last two days that's the reason why I could not get on um get on here and make any videos because I was really going through a lot and with that frequency being like that I don't want to make videos and send that out to anybody you know some people like misery loves company I don't you know I feel like when I'm you know if I, I have love to share I'll, I'll do videos all day but if it's heartache and pain that I'm going through I'd rather just keep that to myself because other people are going through enough of their own stuff I'm not trying to push that out to the universe as well left alone anybody else so it was just like I've never heard of a spiritual union, but that was what they were telling me it was. When you know you're getting ready to go through it, like if you are not in physical union with your your you know your twin, um, it's something that you have to go through. It's like a trial and error basically that you have to really go through when you know for that physical union but see with mine, my father has passed on, so our union has merged in spiritually. So it was very beautiful. I've been crying like tears of joy for all day. And I just told God, thank you, you know, because it's like I've really, been, really been missing my father since he has passed. And, you know, I always wanted to have him back. And I just prayed to God. I just wanted my dad back. You know, I don't know how I wanted him back, but I just wanted him back, you know, because it was just like with my situation. If you already know who my father is, you know, if you you watch the intro, you'll know who I'm talking about. Um it was just let me see how I can say it it was going through grief but it was on another level of grief it was just like I had to I, I wanted to feel my dad you know even though I hear him constantly in my ear all the time but it wasn't enough for me you know because it was just like I shouldn't have had to find out after he passed away you know that this was my father I shouldn't have had to go through all that and it was like really 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 traumatizing for me having to find out through that way you know if you haven't watched my intro my father is Prince Rogers Nelson a lot of people did not know that he had a child but my 
I was born before my dad got famous in 1977. He didn't get his record deal until a year, almost a year later. So uh, before he was able to get the record deal, my parents were, you know, high school sweethearts. My mom was 16. He was 18, about to turn 18. Um, and the only way they could keep me if he got the record deal. But since the record deal fell through, my, my grandparents had saw fit for me to be adopted. You know, my mom, my grandparents didn't want my mom having me through wedlock. And it was something very traumatizing that my dad had to go through. And it's kind of hard to talk about because especially with him merged with me, that's something still that, you know, even though he's healed from it, it's still something that's like a sore spot to talk about. So it was like knowing all these things, I've always had a connection with my dad, always dreamt about my dad, you know, he was always my guardian angel. And it was like the closer we got, there was more memories that came back and um, merged towards everything. The closer we got, the more dreams that came came to the forefront more things that came from the past that I wasn't aware of like I remember me and my father being twins at one time throughout our past lives you know um, we were actually identical twins which was very weird because I was a girl and he was a boy so it was like throughout those times and that spiritual time well not spiritual time but the spiritual memories that I have it was like really weird because I can remember us like walking down the street and people always stared at us because the fact is they always, you know, you, if you're twins, you'll always know the, the girls will look alike or the boys will look alike. But for a female and a male to look alike, y'all probably feeling the energy because I keep on seeing my, my computer flashing and stuff like that. So the energy is like very powerful right now. And it's such a beautiful thing. I just looked at my phone. It's like, it says 85%. 13 that's his number he was born in 1958 and it's 222 but um it was such a beautiful thing to go through all that yesterday I went through it last night and when it it gets ready to happen with you they will make you remember every painful experience you had it will all come flashing at you especially if you're not you're not um like really trying to engage in that you really just trying to put it to a side and it was something I really didn't want to face it was stuff something I really didn't accept so it was like God made me go through all this and I was crying so so hard like where my eyes were just swollen and going through all that and I'm just like I don't understand what is going on and you know it had to take one of my one-on-ones my, my sister my spiritual sister let me know you're you're merging you're merging <laughs> she's like I see it you're merging she was she had to be there spiritually to hold my hand and I'm seeing all my loved ones in a circle and they're holding hands and I was like what is going on is crazy because they're doing the same thing I'm looking at on this video which is very creepy but <laughs> um it was something very magical like everybody that passed on was putting their love and energy there and she's like what do you see and it was just like i don't understand why is my you know like everybody i love that passed on is here and you know i feel love from everyone and it was such a beautiful thing that i felt because it was like they were protecting me in love and they were letting me see how they felt about me. And I felt all that love growing into myself that I really didn't know I did not love myself like that. You know, it's just like I love my dad, but my dad was like, for you to be able to be towards this, you're going to have to love yourself as well. And there's just certain parts of myself I was not not noticing that I didn't love. You know, I didn't pay attention to that. But since they showed me all these things, they mirrored that to me. So with all these things happening, it was just so enchanting. It was so beautiful. It's like I seen my sister there. I saw my baby brother there. I seen my mom, my my father. Well, he was he couldn't emerge with me until I went through all this. So it was just a beautiful thing, but it was something so tragic that I had to go through. But I had to experience like every single thing that my family has put me through. Like every tragedy I had to go through, I had to face all that and be able to be strong about it so my spiritual sister had to be there and hold my hand and say you know I got you you know I got your back I'm like I don't understand what's happening I don't understand what's happening so I'm texting her back and forth and I just feel all this stuff and then I felt like my heart was breaking at the same time but then all this this energy it just came and I just felt my dad me and my dad just go like this and it's like 
looking through fresh pair of eyes. Like my energy is so different. I'm so at peace because I was always wanting to have that physical union. But since he's passed, I couldn't get that. But this is the closest kind I got to go through at this time. But there, there's more stuff that's supposed to be going on. But I had to go through this for everything else to be able to fall into place. So um, going through this, if you're going, if you're getting ready to go through this with yourself, they will make you remember everything that has traumatized you from birth I know my phone just went off so I know that's what they wanted me to say but they will make you go through everything let you see everything that you had to go through for you to be able to go through the spiritual union before you go into physical so if you're going through this and you're you're really trying to push hard on going towards your physical union trust and believe you might have to go through this so if you're waiting to go through the spiritual, you know, the physical union, they will make you think about everything. They will make you face everything that ever held you back, anything that ever hindered you, hurt you, traumatized you. You will have to face all that and you can't run. They will not let you run. They will back you into a corner and make you feel it. And then you'll just feel all this power coming towards you. And you're, I mean, it'll scare the mess out of you because you don't know what's going on. It'll make you feel like you're having a panic attack. So they wanted me to go ahead and discuss this with y'all because I know there's a lot of people getting ready to head towards physical union. But for you to be able to go through that, you're going to have to go through spiritual union first. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. I hope that was enough information to let you know the forewarning. Um, you will feel, oh, what they told me to tell you because I almost forgot. They just like, hey, Rosalind, you forgot to tell them about that. Um, you will feel really depressed that day. It will have you crying like you're talking about my dad kept on I was talking to my dad and I'm like dad you just don't know I love you I wish I could have seen you and he's like I'm here with you all the time you just don't know I'm here and I'm just like no you don't get it but they had me like really really just pouring my heart out and you know for them to tell me okay you see this love that you're giving your dad you're gonna have to turn around and give it to yourself at the same time so I had to go ahead and it had to be recycled so whatever you do not love about yourself, trust and believe, they will make you face that fact of you loving yourself. Now it's like I love every aspect of myself, knowing that even though he's not in the physical, I'm all, he's always with me. He's never left. But now it's like closer. You know, I feel him a lot closer than that. So if you know you've been with me for a while, you will see like, whoa, what happened to our energy? Because it's like when I'm doing this video and talking about it, you probably seen flashes come across like it just did just now. So the energy is really loud. So and then I noticed that it it took some aging off. Like I really went through like my eyes were swollen this morning. I was just like, oh my gosh. But then I looked and I noticed that I looked a lot younger than I usually do. So, if y'all wonder what that was, that was the Twin Flame Spiritual Merge. So, I hope you're able to resonate with this. I hope this was enough to help you, to let you know, to indicate these things are going to go on. You're going to go through depression, really, really bad depression. You want to close yourself off from people. So, don't allow people to feel you that way because it's like, you'll be like a tick ticking time bomb. So, if you can, try to seek solitude. Meditate as much as you can. Go ahead and get your kumbaya yas out. Cry as much as you can because they're, they're going to want you to release all that before you can actually go through the spiritual union. So I hope this was able to resonate with you. Much love. Um, uh, like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell. Share. Please share. Give me a thumbs up. And um, hit the notification bell. And know that well, I'm about to upload my next video. And much love to Masada. Horsley, I, I hope I pronounced your name right, and Donnie from Big Drone Flyer 77 and October 31st Lover. Much love to you all, love and blessings, and I will see you on my next video. Send out as much love and light as you possibly can, as you can, as I do the same for you, and oh my gosh, this energy just keeps flying towards the computer, so much love to you, peace, and <laughs> be wild.